Hello everyone, my name is Leo. So today we're gonna to be talking about Amazon Flex. Is it worth it? That is the big question. Literally, that is the big, big question. Is it worth doing Amazon Flex? Is it profitable? Do you actually make money driving for Amazon Flex? Uh, these are questions that I've had honestly myself after actually driving for the last two weeks. Am I actually being profitable with Amazon Flex driving for them. Um, so today I did a test for myself and actually analyzed uh, my last block, the block I finished yesterday, to be honest. Um, I analyzed it to see if I was making any money whatsoever. And I decided to analyze it in a way that, uh, trying to see if I make profit depending on the blocks that Amazon offers. Uh, Amazon offers blocks between two hour blocks, three hour blocks, three and a half, three, three and a half hour blocks and four hour blocks. Um, so I analyzed three hours and three and a half hours and I analyzed it in two different ways. Um, Amazon, when they do their blocks, normally when they have enough drivers, they've got what they call a normal rate. And they also have, when they don't have enough drivers or in the event of inclement weather and they don't have enough drivers, once again, a shortage, <coughs> a shortage of drivers, they've got what they call increased rate <coughs> or rates. So I went ahead and analyzed it based on both normal and increased based upon my cost, my expenses that I, that I accrued this, this past week, this week, actually the week I'm currently on. So I filled up my car. Um, sorry about that. My eye was itching. I filled up my car on on Monday, Monday evening, um, at two dollars and seventy nine cents. It was literally at the very end. I was at the very end at uh, empty, basically. It was at e em empty. So I filled it up. It was a total cost of thirty three dollars and five cents to fill up my car. <clears throat> $33.05 to fill up my car uh, at $2.79 per gallon. So that's how I calculated. So this week I did two blocks. I did one on Tuesday and I did one on Wednesday. And both of these blocks used up my entire gas tank. Um, because when I got to the gas station that's near my house, I was literally on the E. My light was on. Um, and once again, I spent $33 and like 20 cents, you know, I think it was like 15 cents difference because I put gas is, you know, the same at the same gas station cost in the same amount previously as well. So it was still $2 and 79 cents. It had not gone up or had gone down. So I did these two blocks that you currently see on the screen. The one was at 345 to 715. The other one was at 315 to 645. <coughs> Uh, the block from yesterday, from Wednesday, I did 110 miles and 0.52. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and open up the spreadsheet here that I currently have. We'll see that you can see how I've calculated this, or at least get somewhat of an idea. So let's say for an example, the block from yesterday, if I were to accept that block, at $54, which I did, and I accepted it at $82.50. They had an increased rate on it, and that's when I took it. Uh, but let's say they did a rate, normal rate of $54 for a three hour block. I've also analyzed what my total cost per mile would be, which is 14 cents. Uh, based upon the IRS uh, website where I looked it up at it at the time earlier today, they normally pay 58 cents per mile, but that also includes gas. I didn't want to go that route because I was calculating my own gas. So I went ahead and looked up to see what it would be just for the mile of the vehicle, not necessarily with gas included. And I found two or three different amounts. One was 14, 16 and 18 cents. Um, I decided to just select the lowest, which was 14 cents. Um, just to, you know, keep it on the low end and not go a little bit too high. So uh, let's say for an example, I'm spending 14 cents 
for each mile that I'm actually driving on my vehicle. So that's how I calculated that. <clears throat> so I did 14 cents per mile. So the way I calculated $15.47, I grabbed the total amount of miles driven of 110.52 and I times that by 14 cents and that's how I got $15.47. So that's how much is actually costing me for each mile that I'm adding to my vehicle. That's how much <coughs> money I'm actually, um, that's how much it's costing me or my vehicle it's devaluing uh per each mile that i'm driving my vehicle and i only say that because my vehicle is a 2015 acura tlx when i initially started driving for uh for amazon flex i had it 49,000 miles i now have 51,000 miles put on so the higher it goes the less the vehicle will cost and that's how i'm calculating that the 14 cents um and of course i'm losing 15 dollars and 47 cents per mile that i'm adding to my vehicle some people don't care if they add miles to the vehicle unfortunately i do um because at one point in time possibly i may want to trade it in or maybe sell it and i'd still like to you know i purchased it for twenty one thousand. i like to be able to sell it for like 17 18 thousand if possible if i don't have that many miles on it you know so the more miles you put on the less the vehicle costs all right so now total gas cost per mile the way i calculated this let's say for an example i did three hours would be 13 dollars and 41 cents so in 110 miles and 52 uh, 110 miles point 52 what i did with that what i did with that is i averaged what how many miles i drive per mile so my total average is 23 miles 23 miles per gallon so what I did is I grabbed the total amount of miles driven of 110 miles 52 divided that by 23. I got that total and then I times that total times two dollars and 79 cents. When I did that, I got the amount of 13 dollars and 41 cents. <clears throat> so that's how I was able to calculate my mileage. Now my math may be completely off. It's a possibility. I'm not a a mathematician of any kind whatsoever um so my math may be completely completely wrong um if it is go ahead and just leave me a comment in the, you know in the section below to get me corrected maybe you will help me fix my spreadsheet if 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 i've got it completely wrong um but let's say for example i am right um which i am probably not um i would be making a profit if i did the normal rate of three hours $54, $54, uh, $54 block, I would only be making a profit of $25.12. So what that means is that I would only be making $8. Basically, I'm making $8.37 per, uh, per hour. I don't know about you, but me, I don't want to work at any job that pays me below 18 bucks an hour. Honestly, I don't want to work at any job that pays me below $18 an hour. I value myself a lot more than $8.37. I value my vehicle a lot more than $8.37. So for me, that would not be beneficial, a lot, beneficial at all whatsoever. You know, some people may be struggling and whatnot. So $25 profit may be okay for them. But for me, unfortunately, it's not. All right. So let's say for an example they offer the increase rate of $70 instead of 54 <clears throat> the three hours they can go they can go up to $70 and 72 cents increase rate and I say that they can because when they increase the rates they sometimes go uh <coughs> by increments I'm not sure what the increments is what the algorithm is for Amazon uh they've gone to 60 they've gone to 66 point something They've gone to 67. The highest, <coughs> excuse me, the highest I've seen it gone is $70.72. Uh, that is the highest I've seen the increase of three hours gone up to. I haven't seen it gone up any higher than that. So let's say you accept the increase rate of $70.72. And let's say you did the block from yesterday, um, which, which is the one I did of a 110 miles that's how much i put in my vehicle 110.52 i'd still only be making a profit of 41 dollars and 84 cents 
which if I divide that amount by three, it would be basically me making hourly $13 and 95 cents. I still don't see that ben beneficial at all. Um, I would decline an offer like that, honestly. Like I said, I'd be willing, honestly, I don't want to do anything that's less than 18 bucks an hour, <clears throat> at least for me or some people may be okay. <clears throat> like I said, it's my personal opinion. You may have your own and that's okay. All right. So the normal rate, the, the, the ones I accepted yesterday were both three and a half hours. Uh, well, the one I accepted yesterday was three and a half hours. And the one I accepted on Tuesday was also three and a half hours. And both rates were increased rates of $82 and 50 cents. Um, <clears throat> so I did the last column you see on there. Those are the rates I actually did. Um, uh, but let's say for an example, I didn't do those. Let's say I accepted what their normal rate would be, would be for three and a half hours, which their normal rate for three and a half hours is six three dollars um <clears throat> the cost of course i did spend fifteen dollars and 47 cents <clears throat> cost per mile gas i spent thirteen dollars and 41 cents so that will remain the same because that is how much i spent yesterday with my vehicle gas and mileage i put on it for the three and a half hours normal rate that would put me in a profit of only thirty four dollars and twelve cents definitely i wouldn't be doing it for that no that would only put me at making nine dollars and seventy five cents per per hour which once again that's a, that's really really low <clears throat> so the one i did was increased rate of three and a half hours i did the increase rate i waited until that rate actually went up eventually i saw that it went up i went in there quickly and accepted it um eighty two dollars fifty cents the cost per mile and the cost for gas they'll remain the same so I made a profit of $53.62. I still think that's too low. Uh, <clears throat> I literally still think that's too low. That's basically me working hourly, getting paid $15.32. I value myself a lot more than that. Um, of course, I know that I'm only delivering packages, but I'm using my time that I could be spending with my family, with my kids, or doing something a lot more beneficial and only getting paid $15 and 32 cents an hour. Of course, the whole purpose of me doing Amazon flex, it wasn't necessarily to make this video, <clears throat> but I'm going to take advantage and actually do it. Um, it was actually a supplemental type of income. Um, you know, I, I, it's been me only, it has only been me basically here working at home. My wife's been trying to help with working from home, doing like service and whatnot, but she's not making enough to be able to help with the bills. So, I was seeking for a, an opportunity that could work with my schedule and be able to do side jobs and make some profit off of it. So I decided to go ahead and try out Amazon Flex. And honestly, I will keep doing it only if I were to get that increased rate of $82.50. Um, but anything lesser than that, I will not do it. It would be a waste of time, honestly. Waste of time, miles you would put on your vehicle, gas. Um, and yeah. Another thing I noticed is Amazon only pays you up until the point you deliver the last package is normally your three and a half hour goes all the way through you deliver the last package. Sometimes you could even go over like 10, 15 minutes. Um, <clears throat> so in the drive back, you're not getting paid for. You do not get paid for the drive back or the gas or the miles you put on your vehicle during that time. Um, you don't get paid for that at all whatsoever. Um, and sometimes, at least for the last two blocks I've completed, they literally take me about 45 minutes away out of where I live. So I'm having to drive 45 minutes back. So that's an additional 45 minutes you're having to miss out of spending time with your family or doing other things that you may want to do. You don't if you don't have a family, you know, spending doing something that you want to do. I'm a I'm, I'm a gamer, so I like playing video games. One of the things I could be doing with the time is streaming. I'm not huge. I'm not big yet, but eventually I'm hoping to sometime be there and that could be my supplemental income, um, but I'm not there yet. I'm not making any income. So for now, I do have a schedule for that um, and I'm sticking to that schedule. And once I start making some income, that would change. But <coughs> outside of that, that's one of the reasons why I was trying Amazon Flex. And for now, unless I see rates, increased rates of $82.50, 
in my area that's the only time i will ever accept them other than that if they're below that i will not accept them at all whatsoever because it would not be worth it at all whatsoever now i have seen some videos where they say they make 30 dollars an hour they made 25 dollars an hour they made 20 they're not calculating their gas miles <coughs> or their time honestly um they're not calculating any of that whatsoever so yes you could say that it could be good making some extra income with amazon flex if you're doing the 8250 increased rate anything that's normal rate no i i would not you would not catch me accepting those at all whatsoever other than that guys i will leave this spreadsheet that i created <clears throat> and uh I'm going to leave it in my Google Drive. I'll put a link up there that you can go on there and download it if you want and view it. Um, if you want to edit it, you are more than welcome to do so. I did not copyright it. So you can do whatever you want with it, you know, whatsoever. This is just something that I decided to just try to calculate, you know, or analyze things in my end just to make sure that I am making profit. Um, well, other than that, guys. Uh, do me a favor if you are a new viewer here to my channel if you're a new person coming to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the notification button that way you get notified whenever i do upload another video um and yeah other than that i'll see you next time when i upload a video thanks guys you guys have a good one